Hi, I'm Jenny and I'm a physiotherapist with the transplant program at the University of Alberta Hospital. I'm here with Moira and we're going to be learning some lower body exercises today. So things to help keep your legs strong and you won't need any equipment. All you need today is a chair. So we're going to start with a warm up and we'll stand up for our warm up just to get the blood flowing, get the oxygen to our muscles. So we're going to start off with some deep breaths, reaching our arms overhead. Here we go. And exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. This time we're going to inhale, bring our arms in front. Exhale down. And again, arms in front. Exhale. And one more time. And exhale. We're going to start off with just a few marching steps, just on the spot, at your own pace here, just to try to get the blood flowing. You can go faster, slower, whatever feels good here. And we'll do one last breath with our arms to the sides. And exhale. Let's have a seat and we'll start our leg exercises. Okay, so now we're gonna start with some of our leg exercises. We're gonna do a seated kick. So we're gonna start with one leg at a time. We're gonna kick straight out and bend. Two, three. As you kick, squeeze that quad muscle. And getting your legs straight out in front of you. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So kicking straight out. Two. If this was too easy for you, you could kick and hold. Or you could add some little ankle weights. Excellent. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do, we're going to start with our legs straight and we're going to pull our heel into the ground for this one. So you won't see a lot of movement, but you should feel the back of your leg all the way up into your bottom working here. So we're going to pull our heel into the ground, pull, 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 and relax. And pull, 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 and relax. And pull, and pull, and pull. You should really feel like your heel is digging into the grass hamstrings, the back of your thigh are really contracting here to work. And we'll do three more. Pull and pull. And last one, pull, pull, pull. We'll switch over to the other side. So with your leg out in front, same thing. We're just really digging that heel into the ground. We're going to do 10 of these. If this is a little easy for you, you can add a longer hold when you pull. So you could pull for the count of five rather than just doing a one second pull like we're doing here. Good. We'll do three more. And pull. Really feel like you're digging your heel into the ground. Excellent. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is actually going to be standing. So Moira is going to show us the easier version. She's going to be starting from the back of her chair, just using the chair to hold on to for a little bit of balance. She's going to show us a mini squat. And I'm going to show you the harder version, which is going to be a sit to stand. So with the sit to stand, we're started from the chair, 
all the way up into a standing position. And as I come down, Moira is coming down into her mini squat. And up. Coming down. And back up. Our goal is 10, but these ones are a little more of a challenging exercise. So if you can't do 10, just do as many as you can following along with us. If you're doing the mini squat version, keeping your body weight on your heels and just pushing your hips back. Chest up tall. And we'll do. Good. Mini squat. Holding on to the chair. Yep, perfect. Good. Our next exercise, we're going to stay standing. And again, using the back of the chair to hold on to if you need for balance. We're going to come up onto our tippy toes and do a heel raise here. So all the way up and back down. We'll come as high as we can onto your tippy toes. Good. This one is also good for your balance. If you wanted to try holding on with one hand or with no hands, that'll work your core a little bit more and work your balance a little bit more as well. Okay, and our last exercise is gonna be in the same position, holding on for balance. This time we're gonna do a side kick, so we're gonna work our hip muscles. So, keeping your toes forward, knees forward, we're just lifting one leg at a time out to the side. Good. Three, four, five, excellent. Six, seven, keep your torso up nice and tall so you're not leaning to the side. Excellent. And we'll do the other side next, same thing. Toes forward, knees forward, and bring your foot out to the side. Good. And we'll do two more here. Okay. Now we can head on back to our chair and we'll do a second round of that circuit. Okay, so we're going to do all of our exercises one more time, starting with our seated kicks. Here we go. Ten times on the right side. Really squeeze, squeeze that thigh muscle. Adding a little bit of a hold there if this one's too easy with just the one second. And good. Let's switch sides. Same thing on our other side. Ten times. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Next, we'll do our hamstring curls, so our heel pull into the ground. So, leg starts out in front, and we dig, 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 pull that heel to the ground. Good. There's one, two, three. Four, good, five, really pull hard into the grass, good, excellent, and again to make this harder you would do a longer pull into the ground, and ten, excellent, let's switch sides, leg out in front, and Big pull into the ground. Two, three, good. 
good. Seven, eight, nine, and big pull for that last one. There's ten. Good. Okay. Now we're back up on our feet. Moira's going to show us the mini squat, and I'll do the sit to stand. Okay. Ready? Here we go. all the way back will protect your knees so really try to reach your hips back towards the chair if you're doing a sit to stand or reach your hips back if you're doing the mini squat okay and here we go we're gonna do our heel raises next up and down on our tippy toes up and down if you wanted to make this a little harder, you can move to a single leg version where you're just standing on the one foot and it's the same exercise, up and down, but this time, single leg. A little harder here because we're putting all of our body weight on the single side. And of course, if you've chosen this option, you're gonna wanna do both legs equally. So if you did 10 on the one leg, we're gonna do 10 on the other leg. Excellent. And there's 10, good. Last one is going to be our side kick exercise. So for this one here, holding onto the chair, when you're ready, we'll go out to the right first. Leading with your ankle, try to keep your toes and knee pointing forward. Keep your chest and torso upright. And using your hips to do all the work here. And if you haven't switched sides, switch to the other side. Excellent. Holding the chair for balance. And we'll finish. Good, and that completes our second circuit of the lower body portion. So, well done.